All right. So this is uh, Bram van Overbeke, and I'll do a quick review of our rocket mass heater that has now been working for three years in a row, three winters. Um, we usually burn about one or two baskets like this per evening, depending on how cold it is. Um, and we usually run it from, let's say, 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock onwards until like 10 or 11. Um, depending on how warm we want to have it and how cold it is outside. So, I'll just show you the fire. We usually put only one piece of wood inside. Um, we don't really feel that it needs more, and we don't like to burn our asses. Like it gets really hot if you put more than one piece of wood in. And as you can see, the the window works really well. It's got a little, nice little door on it, created by our friend Alexandros. I had to make one repair recently, but other than that, it's been working fine. Um, as you can see, the inside doesn't look too damaged. Also, as you can see, with the door open, it doesn't smoke back at all. Like, at all, at all. It doesn't smoke back at all. I could run it all evening like this and you wouldn't smell fire. Um, so it has a, it has a little... Um, Airflow controller. Don't use it too much. Um, and the best trick, I guess you would say, is the following. Um, as you can see over here, there is a little lever. That if I lift it up, it sort of gets stuck. And what's the trick behind that? is that the fire starts in here, goes to the back, turns a corner, turns a corner again, and then comes up. So this is where the fire touches the metal. Then it makes a little bit of a zigzag path, and it comes here. And this stick, uh, on the bottom of it, there's a little door. And if I pull it up, that closes the door. So what happens is that normally, when this is down, um, the fire can go and go straight up the chimney, which is the shortest path, which allows us to start the fire with a nice quick draw. But if I put it up, like I have done here, then the fire is forced to go down and into a pipe here. I'll take a few steps back. So basically the pipe, uh, with my finger, pipe travels like this, inside the tube, inside the bench, to the back, to the back of the bench, again, and then up the chimney. So there's like a, I'll link in the video, I'll link a, an album with how we made this. And there's two clean out ports, one over there, one over here bags. Um, so uh, that's the basic setup. Um, do we like it? What can I say? Yes, we love it. It's been three years. Um, three years it's kept us warm. It's basically our only form of heating. We do have a small air heater that we sometimes use like an electric uh, little stove thingy that we sometimes use when, for instance, we're just getting out of the shower and it's just a little bit too cold and we haven't run the fire yet or something in the mornings. But for instance, uh, let's say that we have run it at night. Uh, the fire goes out at night, uh, tw 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, whatever. And next morning, uh, whether it is uh, 7 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock, whatever, our house is comfortably warm. Like, you can wake up and you don't feel cold. Um, Okay, you might want to put on a sweater. It's not, uh, you know, like uh, air conditioning. Uh, like, it's not uh, that the, the, the house is completely warm. Um, but you don't feel cold. And the reason for this is that this thing, like, 
all of the stones along here, all of the stones along there, this whole mass, and then, uh, sorry, all of that stores heat from the fire and then radiates it out over the next, uh, what, let's say, 12 hours. Let's see. So if we stop it at 12, if we stop the fire at 12, then 12 o'clock in the afternoon the next day, the mass is going to be so cold that you can touch it. Um, I have a little um, laser. Um, right, that's Fahrenheit. So let's see now. 28 degrees, top of the fire, and at 29. It's not too warm right now. I've had a 300. Um, so over there, on the side of where you're sitting, it's 28. Over there, 30. It's going to warm up more now that I changed the path of the fire. And so basically, when you're sitting here, um, you always feel warm. There is no way that you're ever going to feel cold, even if it's the coldest day in, in winter. Um, <clears throat> this thing keeps you warm. We've also cooked on this. Um, we do cook on this, um, which is really useful, to, uh, uh, especially when there was a power outage and our electric, electric cooker wouldn't work. Uh, it's just a beautiful machine. Um, what else? Uh, no, okay, so maintenance. Um, it's now the third winter, and uh, at the beginning of this winter, uh, one brick, uh, one insulated fire brick in the back of the stove failed, which, you know, like uh, after two winters and uh, the material being kind of soft, it's a very light kind of brick. Um, I, I kind of could have said that I could have expected it. Uh, it's not a... It's not a cement-like material. It's a, it's a very soft, brittle material. But the the rest of the stove is keeping up, and what I expect is that uh, after this uh, this winter is done, or the time that we burn the f the fire is done, I will just o open these uh, plates, the cast iron plates, take them off, and uh, clean the inside, possibly make a few repairs, and then it will be good to go again. Um, yeah, we have a little space underneath here for storing kindling and stuff like that. Um, the, the structure that you see here, this I made so that our baby cannot uh, touch the fire. <laughs> she, so far she hasn't uh, ever burned herself. She, she knows that this is especially the black part, the, the metal part, that it's warm, that it's hot. And uh, yeah, basically uh, everybody likes to sit over there, <laughs> but at some point it gets too warm in the evening and you want to move. Um, so, uh, you know, we take shifts being the person that sits on the warmest part. Um, ah, yeah, another nice thing that happens. Where is my... So basically what you see here is that this is 16 degrees. So the things we just left for a month almost, I have uh, a hernia and I had to deal with it. So we were in Athens. So this floor before we left and we had been burning consistently was almost throughout the day 18 to 20 degrees, depending on when you measured it. Um, this one I've measured uh, 25 degrees at some point, this pillar. Um, and basically what I want to say with that is this heater gives off heat, but it radiates the heat. So basically, the, the stones that you see here um, radiate heat into the room, and the, the bricks of the walls um, absorb that heat. And then uh, that is what keeps you warm. Like that radiant heat is uh, what radiates into your body. And even though the temperature of the room might be uh, you know, 18 degrees or something. I'm looking now. Okay, right now it's 19 degrees in this house. Um, you feel like toasty warm. 
if I compare that to, for instance, uh, a house that we are often in uh, in Athens, um, the house might be 21 degrees, and still you feel like cold. You're cold. Uh, your feet are cold. You're, uh, you know, like you feel like putting on a sweater. The, f the fact is just that hot air doesn't really heat people very well. Um, radiant heat and sitting on warm benches is what heats people very well. So, yeah, I hope that, uh, that was informative to you. Um, and if I forget anything, I'll write it in the description of this video. All right. Um, have fun and speak to, late to you later. Ciao, ciao.